Welcome back, Corona Crew. So, I just want to round off the last two videos by really emphasising something. And as much as this drives me insane, I'm almost becoming a little bit used to it. And I think this is one of those subjects where you really need to have a good, long look at yourself. And you really need to be brutally honest with yourself. And it's all about consistency. Consistency is one of, if you can imagine these 50 or so videos we've done, there's just been an endless amount of messages and ideas and concepts and tricks and techniques and the list just goes on and on and on and then you can revisit things, uh, we can emphasise things, we can elaborate on things and it's all about that self-development, positive mindset, happy days, tasty cake of life, yeah? Consistency is one of the absolute key ingredients. I'm not entirely sure how many key ingredients there are going into this cake, but there is no question that consistency is one of the main ones. Maybe one day if we're lucky, I'll work out what the, the main ingredients are of this cake. <laughs> But again, I'm learning as I'm going anyway. So I don't know, you know, I might uncover something next week which really sparks an interest. But consistency, I cannot say this enough, is a big part of any type of success. And yesterday we spoke about building our dreams with our imaginary daily bricks. And the bigger the dream, the more bricks you're going to need and stepping out of your comfort zone at least once a day and doing something which you know with integrity is a tiny step in the right direction. That counts as a brick. You lay the brick, you're building your dream. And I said, you're not allowed to cheat. You're not allowed to do five things on Monday and then have the rest of the week off. And the main reason you don't want to do that is because that doesn't encourage consistency. If you want to be taken seriously in anything that you do, you need to start being consistent. You need to start being consistent consistently. And I wish I had a pound for every time I saw somebody set something up or start something new or develop a whole new way of thinking or working or systems that they bring into their life or into their business or God, you name it, right? And they have a good week. And again, we're back here with this novelty wearing off and it getting hard and people throwing a towel in and thinking, I didn't sign up for this. And they might even have a good month. They might even have three good months. And something wobbles them. Something knocks them off their stride, something makes them second guess what they're doing. And they undo all of the hard work and they go back to where they were and they're just sitting there genuinely thinking, I don't know, man, I just don't know why I can't seem to get anywhere. It's because you're not consistent. And if you're not prepared to be consistent, I have to be honest with you you ain't going to get anywhere. You're just not. So that's all I wanted to say today. And I really want you to think and be honest and admit if you could be more consistent at what it is you're going to do. And be really hard on yourself if you start to veer off path. And use a bit of self-discipline and shout that inner bitch down when you start to be less consistent. Because without consistency, you're gonna end up with half a dream built. And you know what? You're probably gonna move on to another dream. And by the end of the, the, the game, you know, you'll be at the pearly gates and you'll have all sorts of like half-built dreams and you'll think, what's a waste of time? Don't do it.
let's get consistent in our delivery and in our values and in what we want to achieve. And you're going to have a lot more fun, you're going to have a lot more success and you're going to start achieving your whys. Tomorrow, I'm going to talk about another poster which is on my, well again, it's not on my wall in my office, it's in a tube ready to go on the wall in my office. Uh, and it's a quote all about how I think being realistic is a really bad idea. So we're going to talk about that tomorrow. But I hope you enjoyed today. Let's get consistent and I'll catch up with you all in the morning. Thank you.